call Sanatan Dharma, the eternal faith. And it is uh, ba not based on the teachings of a single perceptor or a sage, neither on one text or few texts, but it is based on the collective wisdom of great seers and sages. So it is developed through centuries and from the very beginning of the Ved Vedic period. <coughs> it has incorporated ideas of different orders, a variety of beliefs, customs, rites, philosophies have merged, assimilated here. India has witnessed conflicting civilizations time to time and all, all uh, civilizations has contributed something in Hinduism. That is why Sarpalli Radha Krishnan has said that Hinduism or Hindu religion is more a culture than a creed. The goal of life, what is the goal of life according to Hinduism? It is called Purushartha Chatushta and the four goals of life are Dharma, Righteousness, Artha, Money, Kama, Desire and Moksha, Liberation. The first is Dharma and it is most comprehensive and most valid throughout the life of a human being. It implies not only the religious and philosophical frame out, but a total world view, including the scheme of right conduct under various circumstances. That is why dharma is a very wide concept and this piece, uh, uh, virtue also comes within this dharma. Uh, uh, as uh, is uh, shown here in this uh, slide, morality, righteousness, law, duty, or justice, virtue, all are incorporated into dharma and uh, it especially uh, deals uh, or talks uh, or take care about the welfare of entire humanity, particularly about uh, the persons who are neglected, who are weak. So uh, peace, <coughs> virtue is broadly accepted in Hinduism from the very beginning to the present times. In, especially in culture, in religion. And there are so many literature, in the name are given here, Ved, Upanishad, Smriti, Ramayana, Mahabharata, Gita, Darshan, Puranas, etc., etc. The term for peace is used, Shanti. Shanti, the term, literally means non-violent, calm or undisturbed. It is a very unique uh, sentiment. Uh, according to the scriptures, a virtue under which some sentiment is to be removed from mind 